Hello students, welcome to Mizo study and welcome to my class. Today I am going to discuss a few formula related to the chapter that is chemical kinetics. Chemical kinetics. Okay. Now we know in chemical kinetics what do we study actually? We discuss the rate of a reaction and the mechanism, the process by, by which a reaction proceed. Now what is the rate of a reaction? Suppose we have a M1A plus M2B it gives you N1C plus N2D, then in this case what is the rate? Rate or you can write here dr upon dt, it can be represented like this okay. or simply you write here R, R is equal to minus 1, uh, minus 1 upon M1 d a upon d t or r is equal to minus 1 upon a 2 d b upon d t then r is equal to plus 1 upon n 1 d c upon d t and r is equal to plus 1 upon n 2 d d upon d t. Okay. This is the rate expression, yes sir. So, what we observe if I draw the graph between concentration and time then this is dec this decreases that is this shows that is there is a decrement of the concentration of the reactant and this is uh, the increment in the concentration of uh, the product and if I draw uh, the um, concentration decrement now there comes the next one is that is law of mass action, the next point, law of mass action. According to this law, suppose this is a reaction, rate of a reaction is depend rate is equal to k a to the power m1 into b to the power m2, that is concentration of the reactant power raised to some stoichiometric coefficient, but this is not completely true. What is the rate law? Yes, we have the rate law. Rate law says that rate is equal to k a to the power not m1 x. It depends upon the experimental value, not the stoichiometric coefficient, where x plus y govern the order of reaction. Order may be plus, may be minus, may be uh, in fractional. Uh, may be fractional. Suppose if x plus y is equal to 0, then the, this is known as zero order reaction and if x plus y is equal to 1, this is known as first order. Suppose x plus y is equal to minus half, that is minus half order reaction. Um, clear? Yes, sir. Now, uh, generally what do we observe in case of first order, uh, zero order reaction, if I consider zero order reaction, then in this case the expression is rate is equal to k concentration to the power 0, uh, that is rate is independent of the concentration of the reactant and T half here is equal to A naught upon 2 k, clear? Yes, sir. Now, for first order reaction, for first order reaction what do we observe? For first order reaction T half will be equal to 0 0.693 upon K, K is the rate constant and rate expression rate is equal to K A to the power 1, A or uh, overall that is equal to power concern depend directly proportional to the concentration of the reactant and the K is equal to 2.303 upon T log A naught upon A. This is the general maximum number of questions are asked from this, uh, this one, from this formula. Clear to you. Similarly, for zero order reaction, uh, for second order, third order, for half order reaction, we have the expression. Clear? Now, the next one what we have that is the unit of rate constant, unit of K. Uh, as per the uh, order, uh, the unit of rate constant changes because we know rate is equal to K A to the power X. Okay. The unit of rate is equal to mole per liter per second, yes, K concentration that is mole per liter to the power X, yes sir. Now in this case what will you do? We are getting here that is K is equal to mole per liter 
पर सेकेंड ओके अपॉन मोल पर लीटर टू दी पावर एक्स यस नाउ के इज इक्वल टू मोल अपॉन मोल टू दी पावर एक्स देन वेट फॉर अ मोमेंट मोल ओके देन लीटर टू दी पावर एक्स अपॉन लीटर इन टू सेकेंड एम आई राइट लुक एट यस सर ना मूविंग इयर चेक इट आउट यस देन वट वी वट डू वी ऑब्जर्व दैट इज के इज इक्वल टू मोल टू दी पावर वन माइनस एक्स एंड लीटर टू दी पावर एक्स माइनस वन एंड सेकेंड टू दी पावर माइनस वन this is the expression as per the value uh, for zero order put x and put x that is mole per liter per second uh, for zero order reaction clear uh, let me check uh, rate dx upon dt mole per liter per second concentration mole per liter okay for uh, first order reaction put 1 1100 1 10 per second clear yes now we have the dependency of rate constant with temperature we know rns equation that is k is equal to a e minus a, e to the power ea upon rt ea is equal to activation energy so we can write here k1 is equal to a ea upon rt1 and k2 is equal to a E A upon R T two. Can we can we write like this? Yes, sir. Now take log both side. What we are getting that is L and K one is equal to L and A minus E A upon R T one. Then L and K two is equal to L and A minus E A upon R T two. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Now, now next one what do we observe that is l and k1 minus l and k2 that will be equal to minus ea upon rt1 plus ea upon rt2 minus ea upon rt1 uh, plus R A, ea upon rt2 that is l and k1 upon k2 will be equal to ea upon r that is 1 upon t2 minus 1 upon t1 look at ln k1 upon k2 ea common wait for a moment plus okay now convert it into log log k1 upon k2 is equal to ea upon 2.303 r that is t1 minus t2 upon t1 into t2 t1 minus t2 in upon t1 into t2 this is the expression this is the temperature variation this is also a important formula now we know the collision frequency we know uh, that only effective collision brings a chemical reaction and the effect of catalyst we know catalyst uh, effect of a catalyst during a reaction that is what does catalyst do catalyst lowers down the activation energy so the reaction speed that is it uh, help to achieve the equilibrium uh, in lesser interval of time these are the formula generally we use in chemical kinetics and i think go through this and uh, solve maximum number of question like uh, first order growth kinetics uh, then what is first order pseudo first order reaction uh, then molecularity and one more thing that is slow step is the rate determining step we know slow step is rate determining step clear then molecularity of a reaction molecularity may be 1 2 and 3 unimolecular bimolecular molecularity cannot be negative but order of reaction can be negative zero and in fraction clear my friend these are the simple things i have discussed and uh, practice maximum will help you a lot now my friend time has come time to say bye bye thank you so much